Let's talk about the Kareem Riggins drums here. I posted a video on this not too long ago, but let's go a little bit deeper. So Kareem Riggins is a legend, right? If you don't know who he is, I encourage you guys to look him up on the Native Instruments website. There's a video on it about who he worked with and on the, the product page is a little bit more about him. There is a affiliate link right here in the description of this video. I encourage you guys to click on that link. And if you decide that this is for you, go ahead and make your purchase. And when you do that, I get a small, a small something from it. Basically telling Native Instruments that, hey, Ellip is doing his job. We love that guy. He's amazing. And we support. You know what I mean? So here's uh, Kareem Riggins drums. And basically, like I said before, I took these drums and it is a part of some of the songs that you will hear next Monday with the new Journey Continues, the Journey Continues Lo-Fi Project. Some of these, some of these drums in here helped me create that sound. All right, so 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 basically, what we have here, it's uh, is pretty much drums. You have a section here at the lower register here, where your one shots are right. So I think that's C zero until look like D sharp. So your one shots live right here, and then. Your higher register, and I'm on a 49 key keyboard. Um, I hope I can. I hope that makes sense. This little action cam at the bottom it doesn't really show the the full spectrum, but I'm on a 49 key keyboard. And if you're on a 25 key keyboard, then you might have to transpose up an octave or so to get, you know, those different placements on the keyboard. But basically, when you come up here, you know. There is all there is loops or patterns already created for you. You can use that if you want to or not, but it's there. I usually never use those because I make my own drums. I have my own patterns in my head, but, you know, it, it could be pretty cool to to come up with something real quick just like that. And so right here at the bottom, we have these different functions here. You got the high pass filter, low pass filter, your reverb, saturation, punch, your sustain. You could tune this high or low, and then you have your overall level. And I believe this little icon right here, oh, this is a noise. Oh, check that out. It depends on which which uh, product you're on because that can be the uh, uh, the random button, you know, the play series, you know. But this is, is kind of cool right there. You can access the type of noise that you want, so you can create that dirty, dirty, you know what I mean, Turn it on and off right here. Turn the volume up. Let me see. Let me turn this on right quick. Huh. A little rain. Let me turn this up some. Okay. Eh. It's interesting. Interesting. So that's there. And then, of course, here at the top, you got your kit. This is the area where, you know, a lot of people are more familiar with where you can, you know, change out the sounds and link sounds together. So I know on one of the songs I did, I had to link both of them together. So if I want both of these kicks to link, so I'll just turn on the link, say group one. And then right here, make sure this says group one. 
So now both of them, but say, you know, just being weird. This is if I want to include the clack. You know, you can do it like that as well. Um, you can also solo or just totally mute it. If you just want to replace the kick, all you have to do is double click and, you know, pick whatever. And you can actually change it to something totally different. It don't have to be a kick. It can be a snare. Uh, how about that? Let's double click that. Say you want that to be a part of your sound, you just come in here and hit stems, and it, it will open up more functions. You know, it's like a toggle deal. So, so in this case, it will be adding like a little click sound to the kick, right? A little click, you know. Pitch it up. Let's go to the clap, pitch it down. Or just turn it, turn it down. You got your attack release, or yeah, your attack decay sustain release. So essentially, you can create your own little sound. You know, whatever you you feel is necessary. You got your low pass and your high pass. Uh, I don't know what you would call this, but this would be like your uh, your switch. Maybe we can call it that. Open, close, shutter. I don't know, but you can do that here. You can do that to any of the of the the pads that you are selected on. Yeah, and then you got your sin levels. Sin one. Wait, let's go to, let's click that one. So you can individually send stuff. You know what I mean? So your send two is obviously a, a delay and then your send one is your reverb, right? And here are your inserts right here so if I want to add a filter here let's see if we go here Okay, so here's your global effects, here's your sin effects. So like I was saying, the reverb is on sin one, and then you got the delay, which is a rep a replica on your sin two, but your your insert effects, we what we did, we put a filter here, so. There we go. And I think you could just click over, yeah. And we can, I think we can add a filter from here to be to be honest with you. Let's see, what is this? Oh. Yeah, there we go. So you can, in, you know, put individual effects on each pad. And it looks like you can go up to four effects on a pad at a time. And these are the different effects that you can choose between. There's quite a bit of effects. So this thing is pretty powerful. You know what I mean? It is pretty powerful. If I want to do a global effect, it looks like we can put up to six... Well, it's actually seven because of the maximizer, right? And then we could change these. Yeah. So you can do 
whatever you want in this little deal here. And so we go back to the kit. So that's what that is, right? So it reflects, right? See, we put that cat right there on that one. And then this one, still the filter on there. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And then here's your pattern. I believe you can do things here. <laughs> so this one. Speed it up. Slow it down. Right. Um, what's up? Uh, what's up, everybody? How y'all feel as, as you guys come in? I see. You, I see. I see you guys. I don't want to like forget you or neglect you, but I see you guys coming in. I appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe to this video right now. Um, right. Yeah. The noise is dope for lo-fi like the rc20 absolutely absolutely and you know the kareem riggins drums it, it's versatile you know it's versatile definitely definitely works for my workflow because i've been doing lo-fi projects but um even even r&b or jazz or or even edm you know what i mean let's just say that like there's always different elements that comes from this era and these type of drums in all types of music so you know it's not just for lo-fi or hip-hop you know what i mean it's, it's elements in here that can be used by anything any genre you know what i'm saying but there is a high hip-hop influence over this i i must say so then you got your macros right here and these this section reflects the different knobs here at the bottom so obviously the first one is high pass filter if you just so decide to change that to the cutoff i think you can do that if, uh let me go back to the macro oh, okay i, I see what's doing is that okay There is a lot of functionality in this thing that I per se never really dial deep into. But just by looking at everything, it's easy for me to understand because of the amount of time that I spend making music, just period, like all the, all the plugins I've used. So to me, it is very easy to understand this. Like, like I get it. Some of the stuff I'm clicking on, I'm like, wait, how do you get to this? Or how do you do that? But... It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense to me. But that's why we're going through this together so that we could dive a little bit deeper because I think that that is also something that people don't do. You know what I mean? Um, I think that if you was to just go ahead and make a purchase on this, something like this, you pretty much have access to a huge library, even more so than the presets that they allow because when you go through and make manipulations to everything, you also can save as user presets, which is what I did. I have one of them that I have. I call it the Ellip Style Lo-Fi because it was, it was a something I changed and I want to use it again. So that is like however many presets in here plus one, right? And then when I get done, it'll be like plus whatever. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I encourage everybody to go in and, and make, you know, play with these drums. And, and that's usually how all of these drums are designed. They're designed with this with this GUI, this, this interface deal here, and you can go in and do whatever. I believe each preset changes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I saw that. All of them changes according to the preset, right? So... I think the first one, if you notice, this was a lo-fi button. 
And then when you go to the next preset, this one change the delay. Ooh, that's dope. Um, let me point this out because this is cool. So the open hi hats is cut off by this one here, and I'm noticing that. So if I go in here, it let me see if I can verify like how this is done. Um, okay, so basically I'm looking at it right. So group A, this is I think that's how you do it. Group A, and this one is also group A. So that's a choke feature, and you can see it right here. It says choke, right? So if I click on this one, this one also is also in, in the choke group here, but this one is not in the choke group. It's a clap. Like, you probably don't want the clap. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. But, you know, for something like that, and, and I noticed this one here, percussion, there's no choke on here, so it's none. But if I wanted to choke, I could say group A, or I could take everything to a group B. This is set up just like the machine. You know, you got your choke groups and then you got your link groups where you can layer several sounds to hit at the same time while you hit one button or one note or pad. And then you got your, your chokes. This is something I like as a as a drummer or finger drummer or however you want to say. You know, I need the open hi hats to choke. I don't want the open hats to overlap the closed hats. So that is a, you know, it's not a, it's not nothing new, but it is a feature or something I reach for as a drummer or programming drums, something I reach for. I never liked the, the, the hi hats, the open hi hats to just linger. Um, you know, it's, I don't know. It's just a thing, but because as a drummer, you know, I, I am a drummer that is something that I'm doing anyway when I'm playing on a real live full set. You know, I'm opening, closing the the hi-hats. So you got to close it before you hit the hi-hats again. You know what I'm saying? That's just it's natural. So I just wanted to point that out. But, yeah, that's how that goes. are dope to me oh yes let's go to that dope 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 yeah I like it Yeah, so again, there's an affiliate link to this particular kit. And it's not expensive at all. It is not expensive. Um, I, I love it, like I said before in my shorter video. I love this thing. <laughs> so uh yeah, I mean, like I say, if y'all if y'all feeling it, go ahead and cop this, man. This thing is pretty, it's beastie, as some people would say. I is it, it, it man. It just hit a little different, you know, hit a little different than all of the other ones. I, I want to say this one, this one, um, I'm trying to think of other drums that Native Instruments might have that can, can, no, nah, they don't have anything like this. This is, this is probably the most vinyl, like vinyl-ish 
retro, like, like this. Let me tell y'all something. Like on my streams, I've been I've been really messing with su Superior Drummer, right? I've I've been using Superior Drummer a lot for what I do, um, especially in the lo-fi stuff because like, like there are drums that you could use that that you know. I mean, it depends on where you're going in this type of this type of stuff, but there are drums that are made for lo-fi, but then there is always room for acoustic sound and different crazy effects, stuff like this. You know, if if, if you're if you're doing things more on the line of like Jay Dilla, you know what I'm saying? That is one of the one of the folks involved, you know, working with Jay Dilla, Kareem Riggins, you know, I've they worked a lot together. We got some projects. I can't remember what project it was. Uh, it, it was, but Kareem Riggins is one of the guys that, you know what I'm saying. So, so uh, Kareem Riggins is not a stranger to this, to this world. Like it ain't, it ain't nobody that just popped up out of the blue. Like dude got a nice little record. You got a nice record. I'm talking about list of artists famous artists that he's worked with and projects being like super successful and i i am honored to have this on my system and show you guys how this stuff goes how it works it's already on a project it's already on a project yo that's the that's the cool thing about it it's already out the jink the 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 journey continues that's the album that we're releasing february February 27th. So that's next month. Not next month. Next Monday. I'm getting my words twisted. Next Monday is the date of this video. So some pretty fire stuff here.